thank you for joining us here again on Pray TV. It's just a joy to be here with you. It always is, and I'm not faking it. I mean it from the bottom of my heart. It's a privilege to pray with people. And Charlotte is here at the table, and she's got some reports about how God has been speaking to different people around the world. It is certainly a joy, Brant, to be hearing from fellow believers around the world. This week we had a particular prayer request coming in from a precious servant of the Lord in Tripoli, and he asked that we would specifically pray for his country of Libya. And so we, he came from India to Libya and is working there. So we just lift up uh, particularly the country of Libya today, that God would just continue to move there by His Spirit. We also heard from a precious man in Bangladesh uh, where things are pretty scarce, and we just promised that we would uphold that country in our prayers too. Well, there are so many people that we need to be praying for, and we do our best, although we are limited in our resources and our time, to be able to respond to so many of your prayer requests and your comments. We thank you for sending them. I mean that sincerely. Please do like and share these programs because we are believing for the raising up of an intercessory army of men and women praying for the presence and the power of God to permeate the atmosphere. So we just encourage you to pray and we are going to be looking today at a verse of scripture. Actually, there's three verses of scripture that we're going to use today from Psalm 42. And then we're going to follow up in tomorrow's program, which we're actually going to record right after this. That is specifically in the verses four through six. But looking at these first three verses that are famous verses and are well-known verses from Psalm 42, verses 1 through 3 in the NIV version of the Bible. As the deer pants for the streams of water, so my soul pants for you, my God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When can I go and meet with God? My tears have been my food day and night, while people say to me all day long, where is your God? Charlotte, maybe you just kind of bring a little bit of insight on this, and then we're going to pray into it. I think that at any given time, all of us have probably cried from the depths of our heart, God, where are you? Where are you? And so this, you can hear the, the heart cry of the psalmist here as he cried out to, to God. And this thirst that is developed in our lives for God, it, it's certainly the origin of that thirst is from God. We don't just thirst for God in and of our own selves, but He creates that thirst in us. And then we have the choice to continue to um, follow that thirst and seek after God because He will be found. The Word is very clear that we will find Him when we seek for Him with all of our hearts. And so today, uh, even though you feel like you maybe have cried a river just like the Psalmist David here, we just can encourage you to press into God. God is not far away. He is close by to those that are a contrite and a broken heart. And He will manifest Himself. He will reveal Himself to you. And we are just going to pray into that today. But let's just not back away. Let's just continue to thirst after God, to, to run after Him, to look for Him, and He will meet us. And again, this portion of scripture that we're looking at today from Psalm 42, verses 1 through 3, in re reading from the New International Version of the Bible. It says, As the deer pants for the streams of water, so my soul pants for you, my God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When can I go and meet with God? My tears have been my food day and night, while people say to me 
all day long. Where is your God? Charlotte, I'm going to begin our time of prayer and then have you wrap it up today. Holy Spirit, we just are looking to you. You are the author and the finisher of our faith. Our faith rests upon you. We long for you, even as this psalmist wrote about the deer that he saw panting for water, just thirsting for that drink. And Lord, you are the drink of living waters. Like you spoke to the Samaritan woman who was drawing water from the well, and you said to her, if you knew who was talking to you, you would be asking me for a drink of water because I can give you waters that will satisfy your soul. They will never run dry. And so Holy Spirit, we pray for each and every person who's in pursuit of you, Lord, that they will be able to experience more, more of your glory, more of your presence, more of your power, more of your essence. Father, we pray that you will deposit your grace for us to keep pursuing you because you are available and you can be found. Lord, when you were here on this earth, you said, if anyone thirsts, let him come to me and let him drink and out of his inner beings would flow rivers of living water. And Lord, you keep your word, you keep your promises, and so I thank you, God, that you have created a thirst in our hearts for you. And we just know, Lord, that as we pursue you, as we come to you in prayer, as we pour out our hearts before you, Lord, that you will satisfy the thirsty soul. And that, Lord, from our lives, God, you will pour into and you will pour out the, liver, the rivers of your living water upon us. And we praise you for that. In Jesus' name, amen. And we just invite you to keep pressing into God today. God has always got a fresh word for our lives. We have learned to depend on him for that. And he is dependable. He never will leave us nor forsake us. So press into him. We know that this is just a beginning of a prayer time for many people. There are many people that are tracking with us now. There's over 18,000 people that are following and working with us in this prayer journey. And so we just invite you to be a part, share it with others so that they can be a part. We want to see men and women across the earth interceding and praying for the power and the blessing of God. We know this is not it. This is just a prayer program. But what you're going to do now as you go before the Lord, that is what we're after. That pursuit of God, a lifestyle of intercession and prayer. God bless you.